Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome. Glad to have you guys here. Hopefully, I'll stay through. And you guys are listening to uh, these uh, audio shorts, I guess. I don't want to call it shorts because it really seems like that I'm emphasizing like YouTube shorts or anything like that. But um, a little bit something different, uh, something I want to kind of bring um, uh, to my platform, make things a lot easier for me to get this information out for a lot of people. So today is this and uh, kind of just like reworking everything and um, I'm not in- entirely sure what day I should pick to actually do a live podcast on YouTube and other platforms but <clears throat> I'll leave that to you guys to decide um, so for those who listen uh, post in the comments let me know what day uh, works out for you guys as uh, there's gonna be a lot of changes going on in my life so just being open with everybody a lot of changes going on in my life and uh, yeah um, so the time that I normally had uh, I probably won't have that time anymore so doing something like this pre-recorded stuff uh, uploaded you know and yeah people would be like well you could just make a video uh, I could but um, I don't think anyone's really interested in seeing my ugly mug <laughs> so, you know, I just figured I'd do something fun a little bit. You know, audio uh, makes it easier for those uh, out there to just, like, listen. So, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just having fun with all this stuff. This, 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 uh, this, this tool, this rig that I'm working with or whatever. Um, so, yeah, just to kind of catch everybody up on, on some things. Uh, looks like that um, there there's a bit more information regarding the um, the malware that I talked about in my last live. And let me just say this uh, for those people who ask, well, how come we always hear a lot of malware for Android and uh, all that stuff? And and, and, and iOS, you don't hear nothing about it. Well, it's part of what you know. You mean you're asking for. Uh, the freedom to sideload applications that comes with the bad. And so really just kind of want to emphasize that. And God, this, this time I chose to do this and there's gardeners outside with freaking leaf blowers just going off, man, that sucks. But anyways, um, so just to kind of be clear with everybody. So they, they specifically came out with more information regarding that. Now, apparently when you're downloading uh, a specific app, They said that this app calls itself System Update. Let me inform people, when it comes to Android, there's not an app you need to install to get System Updates. That is natively built into the settings. So you don't need to look for a System Update. And if you're like, well, my phone hasn't gotten a System Update from LG or from Samsung, uh, so let me download the System Update and force one, it doesn't force one. There is only a System Update if the OEM, such as Samsung or LG, or Motorola, or Lenovo, or Xiaomi, or any of those, OnePlus, they have to put one out, okay? So here's the formula for it. Android makes the security patch, or they make a full operating system, and then they disperse that to the Google Pixels. How do other manufacturers get it? It's open sourced, so it's given to them by Google. And then it's up to them if they're going to build around it for their hardware. So more than likely, Galaxy S's and Galaxy Notes are going to be receiving those updates because that is prime devices. That is flagship devices. And that's the devices that they want people to buy. So uh, with that being said, you know, like the the, the, the uh, A11s or the A01s, If there's no update available by Samsung, there's no update. So if you think that going online and sideloading an application that's called System Update with the Google icon and uh, thinking you're going to update your phone to Android 11 if it's on Android 10 or if it's on Android 9, you're sadly mistaken. And I need to get this out there for people who don't understand this stuff for them to understand. So if you know someone who might be vulnerable into doing something like this, please share this with them. All they got to do is listen. Um... Yeah, so there is no app that is going to push system updates. There is no app that's going to push system updates, even if it looks legit, because apparently this application called System Updates looks legit because it has the G icon, 
So people think automatically it's from Google, and then they're going to go ahead and they're going to install it. This is the malware that basically is spyware. It'll grab information off of your phone, and it masks itself by you know, pushing a notification for a system update. And once you click that, you have given it access to spider itself throughout your entire file system on Android and basically gather as much information as it wants to. Anything from like things that's in your clipboard, things that, you know, pictures, um, you give it access for it to remote access your cameras, remote access your microphone, listen and record phone calls and record externally, which means that it'll engage the microphone on to hear the environment around the phone and record whatever it's hearing. It all comes through back down to one thing when people kind of ask like how and why and, uh, um, you know, how does this happen? It's by the user's hands. So a lot of the ice sheep out there who want to talk a lot of shit, chill the hell out because this is not something that just immediately makes itself in. The users have to enable this in. What makes iOS so safe from that? Because iOS doesn't have the freedom to do that. You cannot sideload things onto an iPhone unless you jailbreak it. And when you jailbreak it, you compromise the very quintessential thing about iOS that a lot of iSheep love. And that is security. So it's like with iPhones, it's either you break security and make your phone vulnerable. Or if you really absolutely want security, don't mess with it. But when you don't mess with it and you keep it bare bones, stock iOS... You don't have the ability to sideload anything onto it. As on Android, you do. But there comes the bad in that. And that is that there's people out there who develop malicious software. And you could end up installing that on your phone. And then your privacy is um, basically forego. It's gone. Um, again, that's the side That's the side, side effect of being able to sideload things. Now, why would anybody want to sideload an, an Android app? Well, it's pretty easy pretty simple um let's take a recent current thing that happened okay so um with this whole cancel culture thing and everything like that one of the uh web well not websites but uh, social networking sites that was actually impacted and affected by uh this cancel culture thing was an app called parlor parlor was a free speech social platform that happened to have a lot of conservative people on it and um because of certain events that happened in the month of January, uh, Parler was held accountable for it. First, it was a singular person, you know, the uh, former president of the United States, was accountable. And then all of a sudden, the application Parler was held accountable. But I digress from getting into that rabbit hole. Um, so both Google Play and Apple removed the app from their from their app stores. And then Amazon Web Services basically kicked them off their platform. So they had nowhere to host their web services. Um, now that Parler is back on the scene, it's under a new CEO, new people involved, but still pushing for free speech. Um, one of the things that has not changed is that these applications are not available back on 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 the App Store and on the Play Store. So um, the only way for Android users to get the Parler app is that they would have to go to Parler's website. They would have to go through its feed, uh, its, its main page, click, you know, download app. And then you will download a uh, updated APK file, which is what's used to sideload it onto your Android phone. So those are th- that is one of the reasons why that people would sideload applications. And, you know, obviously from sites like Parler, those are verified. Uh, one of the trusted third-party sources for Android uh, applications is a website called apkmirror.com. apkmirror.com gets the APK files that's released uh, through Android or through developers, such as Facebook and Twitter, directly, and it hosts them downloadable um, for those people on there. Now, why would APK Mirror exist? Well, obviously, um, if, let's say, like Instagram is doing an update, they updated a feature on Instagram, and it's slowly rolling out to um to different Instagram accounts. If you want to get ahead of the pack and you want to get that new feature, you can go to APK Mirror that has the APK that has the script added new feature in it. And you can install it yourself, basically updating your Instagram app um, ahead of schedule and enjoying the new feature that is given to you by Instagram. So APK Mirror exists for that very reason. Um, so you know 
that is one that from a lot of people who have done this, who have used this, they uh, they they literally um, know that it's a trusted source already. But there are various other sites, websites that host APK files, and this is where you're kind of diving into danger zone, right? Like you're kind of like, you know, APK mirror. You're kind of swimming at the beach and at the you know near the shoreline area where it's kind of you know still a little bit safe. You know, you can still get caught by an undertow, but you're still safe there. Um, as you're going to other third-party websites, you are now venturing off deeper into deeper areas where, of course, obviously, there are sharks. And um, with those, what people are looking for on those websites, obviously, is to cheat in video games. That is the number one reason why people are going to those sites is because they're wanting to cheat in a game. So there are developers out there who have cracked video games, right? Like, for instance, um, there's a game called Swamp Attack where you're a redneck who sits on the porch of your beat-up house and you got to, like, shoot, you know, angry beavers and aliens and stuff like that. And it's a pretty fun game to play, Um, especially when you accumulate enough money to purchase add-ons. Like, you can fortify your house. You can get, like, you know, a buddy of yours who's a who's a chameleon that, you know, eats the alien flies. You can get uh, additional um, characters that will help you attack and defend your home. And um, But it takes money to do that. And so somebody decided to crack the game, so they downloaded the actual game itself. They took the APK file, and they ended up cracking the game. Now, what does that mean that it's a crack mod APK? What it means is, is that they went through and manipulated it. And so when you download this crack mod APK, what it has is it has a profile that's initially built in into the APK. So you can't sign in with your own account, but you'll be able to have like over, you know, $10 million in money on the game to be able to buy and buy weaponry, upgrade weaponry and uh, buy additional support and buy and fortify your house and get your little chameleon buddy that helps you. Like you'll be able to, to blow that money and completely max out everything that you have in the game. And so some people will be like, yeah, I want to go ahead and do that because that's a lot. That's, that, that'll make it more fun for me, you know? Cheaters. <laughs> what can you say? I'm not out here to judge, but I'm just saying that people look for those types of things. They look for crack mod APKs when it comes to, um, what's that game? Uh, Candy Crush. Candy Crush was one, too, where you got, like, unlimited lollipop, you know, smash or, or whatever um, special feature that you can get in the game. You got unlimited of it. So there's people that search for those types of... Um, of applications for Android. And so they're kind of venturing in dark waters and obviously they're opening up themselves to being a subject of a malicious attack. By installing these things, you never know what's attached to these APK files that's built in script wise. And therefore you could actually be installing something that could end up literally being spyware. So if you're wondering why your Google account was compromised, uh, that may be why. So at the end of the day, that is probably one of the things that you know a lot of people go through and there are people who actually want to have the latest version of android so if there's an app that's called system update they would literally believe this thing would update their phone but i am here to say it does not update your phone there is no app you need to install to do a system update system updates are ota over the air and they're direct from the manufacturer so once you go into your settings you go to system advanced system update and you click that and you hit check If there's no system update, there's no system update. Um, Anyways, guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for listening all the way through. And if you did on the YouTube side, you know, hashtag replay crew um, and hashtag no mal. And uh, yeah, I'll know that you listened up to this point um, on various different platforms. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Really, really appreciate you guys. Y'all take it easy. Have a good night. Peace. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell icon to be notified for future episodes. Thanks so much for listening. You guys are clutch. See y'all later.